All right, we in the lab. You got me, Kago Kid. And we finna break it down talking about my new single getting ready to drop on February 5th, I Can Fly. Gonna talk about other things that was going on this month and some new decisions I'm probably gonna have to make, so let's roll. I Can Fly, you see the wings? You know what I'm saying? A fifth in February, I Can Fly. February 5th, I Can Fly is a single that lets you know you gotta cut people off. You know what I'm saying? Like, and once you cut them off, what you capable of? There's so many of us are carrying dead weight ass people around with us. And I definitely believe that if you realize how heavy your situation is because you got this person in your circle, that it'll be like an epiphany. And once you cut them off, man, you'll see how much you could get done. My father-in-law, he used to say, I don't like asking nobody for anything because you know, it make it seem like I'm big. When you able, capable, you should get out there and help. That's just bottom line. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying is, when a lot of people come to your circle, they should be bringing something to the table. They shouldn't just be sitting around eating off of your circle. You get what I'm saying? Or sitting around uh, taking electricity out your circle. You know what I'm saying? Because, I guess, I don't know, maybe they need your positive reinforcement to help them not go kill themselves. I'm sorry, I need you, I need to cut you off because now, because I got you around, I start feeling kind of weird once a month or something like that. So I'm just kind of putting it out there in a way to help you guys understand that you all can fly, but watch who you got around you, you know what I'm saying? Because what you're doing, you actually inhibiting their growth because they inhibiting yours and you ain't paying attention to how they is and they could have grown if you cut them off. You know what I'm saying? Like, like mama bird gotta kick the baby bird out the nest the same way you gotta cut this person off. Now a lot of people go to feeling bad because they have to protect themselves. You know what I'm saying? And honor be to God, glory to God, I don't feel bad about that, man. If I had to cut you off, can't look back. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. My dad say that people are exes and I don't go back. You know, like so if he, you know, got out of a relationship with somebody, that's his ex now. You know what I'm saying? So what he gotta even sweat that person for? What he thinking about that person for? You get what I'm saying? They had to cut it off. They in his past now. He don't go back. So what I'm saying is once you cut these people off and you just get it in your mind that you ain't going back, you know what I'm saying? I don't care who it is. If it's a relationship, marriage, even if it's your kids, man, your kids reach a point you gotta cut them off. You get what I'm saying? Cause I mean, shit, all they do is grow. So once they get grown, it's a wrap, man. You gotta know when to cut them off, man. And that's what I kinda embody in my kids right now. That man, boy, I know you can't wait till you get grown so that you can have your own feeling. I make sure that I go in there and I instill it in them because it ain't gonna be no surprises when they turn 18, 19 years old. The reason why I say 19 is because some of their birthdays is late. So they didn't get to start school until they was five or six or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So by the time they 19, man, you got to go. You need to go to college, go to the military. I don't care what you go to do, you know, but you got to get up out of mind. You know what I'm saying? Because it's bad enough they run up my bills as it is and they young. You know what I'm saying? So I know what they're going to do when they get older. So I can't feel bad. I had to cut you off, man. Like I say, I mean, that's, that's dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people always kind of throw some bad blood at you when you do cut them off. That's why you ain't shit. No, I wasn't shit because I had you in the circle. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep it clear, but I'm gonna keep my clear head and not say nothing that's gonna be on my conscience when I cut you off. I may think a lot of stuff, but I ain't saying it because I done already made the major move. I cut you off and that's all that had to happen. I mean, in most cases, look, I'm gonna be real. It's a part of yourself you need to cut off. You know what I'm saying? Like that needy, clingy individual in most people's cases. Like, you gotta cut that off because it don't benefit you to be that. You cut that off, man, and I mean, man, watch you be able to excel in so many other areas, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, your, your, your focus and your drive turn up. See, these are things that can't be given to you. I can't give you focus and I can't give you drive. However, when you start cutting off the things that, that was getting in the way of you having that in the first place, man, watch it turn up, and that's what I'm telling you. When you cut these people off, man, and you make the necessary move for you, man, amazing things gonna happen. And that's what I captured in this song, man. I embodied it in a song, man. This song probably three minutes and 12 seconds long. And I mean, I did it in a flyway too, cause that beat go hard. So like I say, man, when it boiled down to a February 5th, y'all ears is finna be tickled.
because a lot of people ain't gonna want to hear but that beat gonna make them listen and then a lot of people that 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 want to hear it and they man please that is just gonna focus me even more to what i'm saying because of the way that this thing dropping then by the time that hook come in such a fat powerful hook man please this just saying just as simple as it gotta be said man so i'm hoping that y'all you know are still alone for the ride when it all go down however if i had to cut it off in any matter, shape, form, or fashion, if I had to cut it off, man, it was best for me. And I hope that y'all see where I'm coming from. Don't forget that your life goes in the direction in which you direct it. You know, when you a child, man, it's different because you gotta suffer whatever your parents is going through. However, you get grown, you know what I'm saying? I mean, unless they done hypnotized you into living like that or something, you the director of your own shit. And so what I'm saying, man, you can't be afraid to say cut. You gotta be like, cut? And man, I'm gonna tell you, man, uh, I used to be one of these types that'll cut you off but won't tell you. And I guess that was making it convenient for me if I wanted to still see you and shit. Or, you know, if later down the line I might have forgave you or something. And, man, listen, now it's like shit, I don't give a fuck. I tell you, look, man, we done it. You know, and I will forgive you later down the line. However, I'm not coming back, and I'm telling you, we done. I could even salute you when I see you in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, bitch? Whatever. In the street, but I'm not finna come pay you no visit. I'm not finna stick my, act like I'm sticking my head up your ass, because bottom line, I gotta do what I gotta do. So like I say, I move my life in the direction in which I do. So if I'm sitting up here, you know, like I said, being clingy and needy or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? With you, you know what I'm saying? Why I won't be focusing on what I gotta do in my own life. And I can't expect all these great things that I be talking about if you in my way. So man, I'm willing to cut the circle so small. Man, I'm telling you, my circle, shit, it already is small. And I don't care if it's because you don't like me. That's already a way that I cut you off. I'm gonna put that out every single time you come around. Uh, stank ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep on saying what you don't want me to say because I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm just being real with you. And then you gonna eventually leave. Cause guess what? I ain't saying nothing like, man, boy, I fuck you. I ain't saying things like that, but it's gonna always be that thing because you think you right all the time. And man, I'm gonna tell you how clearly wrong you are every single time. So man, I mean, I just wanted to be known. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people, that I know, man, I mean, they got a soft button inside them, man. And I mean, God only really loves tough love. You get what I'm saying? Man, I'm gonna tell you, man, I can reflect on certain times where I cut people off in my life, man. And I mean, you know, for a minute, man, it was like all of a sudden I felt like I could breathe again. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like I could enjoy the pleasures inside of things, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I went outside and the sky was blue. You feel me? Like, Shit, and I mean, don't get me wrong, I was doing it to myself, because guess what, as freely as I come into something, should be as freely as I'll be able to get out of it. And bottom line, once you get out of that situation, man, it's a process, but however, once that process goes, you know, it goes through, you know what I'm saying, or once you go through that process, you know, all of a sudden, man, you, you look up and you see that the sky blue, and it's like an incredible blue once you do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, it's called getting out your own way, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you provide your own heaven and your own hell. And what I mean by that, you accept certain people, a lot of people fall in love with their tormentors here. So if you stop falling in love with your tormentor, shit, you'll be able to do some amazing shit. And I'm just being real. You know, like, if you notice that they tormenting you real quick, you cut them off, they won't be in your life for years and years on end, and you'll be able to do some amazing shit. And that goes all the way in the line of, Whatever job you working, man. If you work for a company and they treating you like shit, you need to leave that company alone. If you working for a place and it's all about the paycheck, man, I mean, you fucking up. Because you should always be where you comfortable with, no matter what. And there's plenty of jobs out there that provide that for you. You get what I'm saying? So just keep looking and do what you do. Same way with people. Keep looking. You're going to find your circle, man. You want to talk about bringing something to the table real quick. I know something about no matter what circle or who I'm talking to and they telling me about they circle or whatever the case may be. There's always somebody talking about, man, I got this idea that I want to get off the ground and blah, blah, blah. I told all my friends, man, and I mean, you know, now let me be real with you. 
this is this should be the response that you are looking for when that happens. Like you say, man, I'm just gonna make up something. Man, I wanna make a new type of candy. And this person over here, like, well, let me taste it. They taste it and they're like, man, this is good. Then that person that start putting it on the, everybody in the neighborhood, right? And then after that, all of a sudden a new person comes to the table and they like, look, I can market this to where it can reach bigger heights than just this neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then the next person come in like, you know what? First off, let's make sure that this is certified. Like, we, you know, they can see that we ain't cooking in a bad environment or everything has got the thumbs up so that we can do this. Then the next person come in and then it's like, bam, bam, bam. But what I'm saying is, is everybody do a job. Don't nobody sit back and just suck up, reap the benefits of just knowing you. You get what I'm saying? And although your family will, don't get me wrong, like, because they got their own things. And I'm talking about the family you born to, not the family you went out there and made. Like, you know what I mean? That from the, from the fact of being a dad that has made kids. If they can't get on board like that, guess what? They're going to get the director's cut. I got a wife. If she can't get on board with it, she's getting the director's cut. You get where I'm coming from? Like, because I expect certain expectations from my circle. Because you tell me you do something, I help you all the way through and through. Because I'm available for that help. You get what I'm saying? I'm able-bodied. Whatever I can tell you I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. Like, that goes that, look, I got a car. You need a ride? I, if I'm available to give you that ride, I'm going I'm to tell you that. And I ain't going to put something else in the way. And I ain't going to forget. And you get where I'm coming from. So what I'm saying is, make sure that every piece in your puzzle is valuable. Humans are a resource. I need you to know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, a human is more valuable than gold. But at the same time, a human can be less valuable than mud. You get where I'm coming from? So... What I'm saying is, is get your commodities right, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you got the right people in your circle and around you, man. And you can make that shit happen. And you'll see how you are able to fly. Because, see, man, a good friend that know you are talented in a certain area, man, they will become the, 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 the feather in your wing, helping you catch wind and take flight. I'm trying to tell you, man, that is just that simple. If I got a friend in my circle, that's more talented than I am, man, I should be able to put them on the front and center. And I'm gonna tell you like this, let's just say if we, you know, I got a circle full of rap buddies, and if we all took it to a label, and they thought that they could work more with this individual than they could with me, I should up that dude. I should be like, man, what I could do, I could ghostwrite some things for you, man, so we gonna make this easy on you, and we gonna make it so we all get paid, let's be smart here. They'd be like, man, man, I'm gonna get you a writer's contract then and we go from there. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, so it's so many ways that we could be productive. However, if you ain't bringing nothing to the table to help build, I ain't just talking about words, man. You know, every word has to be backed by, by action. So, otherwise, what is it? It's deeds and gestures. That's how the Bible put it. And there's no gesture that trumps any deed. You get what I'm saying? So you can say whatever you want, but what you do is what you is. And I just want to put it to you like that, man, because I think a lot of people is, you know, I, I, all sense ain't common. I just want y'all to know that everything has a recipe, man. You know, you get a cookbook. You can't just look at the picture in the book and make that without reading this recipe. So what I'm saying is, is that's the recipe to success, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just keep people with you and turn that into sugar. It's gonna always end up shit. That's all I'm trying to say to you. It's a recipe to success. Also, I wanted to let y'all know, man, I mean, cause I've been trying to press a single once a week. And there's a lot of confusion going on with people and their schedules, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got something going on. Like, I work and also record. But me, I'm devoted to what I do. However, that's what I'm saying. I need a team. I need people coming together to do their part. I don't need nobody to get on the mic and spit the lyrics. I don't need nobody to mix and master my session. But however, I may need cover art. However, I may need a, a video or promotion. Or however, I may need promoters to promote the promotion. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying to you, man, a lot that goes on 
while at the same time I'm being a dad. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm making beats and I put up a beat for sale. Uh, it's called Bless the Bottles. You know what I'm saying? I put a link to that in this video. You know what I'm saying? And anyway, I'm just trying to get it out there so that you guys know what it is I do need. Because like I say, I don't need you to spit the, the lyrics for me. I don't need you to record, engineer my session. I don't need you to mix and master it. I don't need none of that. But I do need promotion. I do need, you get where I'm coming from, and right now, yeah, it's gonna be team effort. I'm not just gonna pay you just because you say you promote. I'm being real with you. So that's to all the people on Instagram and everything. Y'all keep making these little, uh, what you call this, man. I pay you, you pay me, uh, I mean, no. I, you pay me $5 and I'll get this to 10,000 people. No, get it to 10,000 people, then I'll pay you. I'll be like, dang, you got a, 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 what you call it, man. Shoot, can we keep this relationship going? Otherwise, what we talking about? You ain't doing nothing for me. You just like the people at the table that ain't doing nothing. Like one of my kids. You get what I'm saying? They could be like, man, that's a hot song. But if they don't tell nobody, how hot was it, son? You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just being real with you. Get it through your head. This is not a game. I am serious about what I'm doing. I'm not no uh, rinky dink around the clock rapper that just popped up out the blue. This is what I do. All right, so we was in the lab, man, and like I say, that single is dropping February 5th, 2019. I'll give it y'all another time. Peace.